For the first 10 years of Aaron Rodgers' NFL career, he was one of the most beloved quarterbacks in the entire league. And then over the course of the last four years, he suddenly went from this massive hero to this huge villain. The media used to talk so highly about Aaron Rodgers, how he was such a great thrower of the football, and now all we see is media members tearing him apart and talking about his family life and how it's ruined and how he can't get along with teammates and how he left to Green Bay for New York and that was a horrible decision and how he ruined his entire career. They treat him like the butt of the joke. They treat him like he's not a first bout hall of fame quarterback they treat him like he's a bottom 10 quarterback in the nfl and today i'm going to talk about some examples of that and why i think it happens before i do that be sure to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and check out all the other sporting mentality socials down below and without further ado let's get right into the video now i know in the 2010s people still hated Aaron Rodgers, but the hate has never been as big as it is today so why has that happened well it's a combination of three different things number one aaron Rodgers is a multi multi-millionaire worth hundreds of millions of dollars he looks like john wick he's very rich he's one of the greatest throwers of the football of all time and sort of the view around him is that he's not a hard worker and he's not in love with football and he just does it because he has an ego and football feeds his ego the next reason is the fact that he's only won one ring and he left green bay this great organization for this horrible organization in the new york jets people think he just sold out wanted to go chase a ring and now he got injured now it's a shit show over there for lack of better words and he just ruined his entire career and the third reason is a little bit more serious and a little bit more truthful and that is about the COVID. COVID vaccine. Now, I'm not just talking about his views on the vaccine. Everybody has the right to their own opinion. And he wasn't a one of one when he was talking about how he was against the vaccine. Thousands and hundreds of thousands of people spoke their you know, thoughts about the vaccine. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. Some people didn't mind it. Some people didn't care. And Rogers happened to be on the side of the people who were against it. And he spoke out very frequently about it. And a lot of liberal media members took heavy offense to that, but that's not the only reason surrounding COVID why they started to hate him. It was what every, it was like everything around the COVID argument with Aaron Rodgers. COVID started conspiracy Aaron, but what these media members don't realize is that this conspiracy Aaron that we found in 2020 when he started talking about COVID and all this other stuff and, and started talking about these books, talking about Dr. Fauci and all this stuff, this conspiracy side of Aaron always existed. Aaron Rodgers, when he was 17, junior in high school, covered the JFK conspiracy theory. He looked into how the government may have been behind the assassination of John F. Kennedy, and he even made a whole entire school presentation about it in, for high school. He's always been into conspiracy theories, but it's only gotten to the internet in 2020 because everyone attacked him for being against COVID, so he wanted to defend himself and talk about all of his theories, this, that, and the other, and why he had these certain views and everything and yeah he did go about it the wrong way he didn't say the right things at the right time but guess what people are human and he messed up so those are the three main reasons let me go over them one more time they think he's a narcissist and egotistical and is only in the nfl to feed his ego they hate how he's not a true winner how he's only 11 and 10 in the playoffs and he only won one ring and he left the green bay packers that's number two and number three they hate his view on the vaccine and his conspiracy theories that he always talks about so those those are the three reasons why i believe the media is so against Aaron Rodgers. Now we're going to get a little bit more specific. Next up, I'm going to be talking about two specific media members who have heavily talked bad about Aaron over the last two, three years. I'm even going to pull up the amount of videos they have made about Aaron talking about him in a bad light. And these two media members are two media members that I listen to every day. I respect them very much. They have a lot of knowledge and I love the way they talk in television. They're very entertaining and I have a lot of respect for them, but this is just a fact about the way they go about their business. Colin Cowher, and Nick Wright. Both of those guys are the reasons I'm talking to you right now. I want to be sort of like them, but not as biased as them. So one of the first videos I found on First Things First talking shit about Aaron Rodgers was January 27th, 2021. And the amount of videos that have been made since then about Aaron Rodgers specifically has been exactly 96 videos just in the last three years all about Aaron Rodgers. And I'm not going to go through every single video to see how much shit they talked, but I would assume in at least 85 of those videos, it is talking about Aaron Rodgers in a bad light. If you watch First Things First, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it doesn't stop there with Nick Wright. On Nick Wright's personal podcast, What's Right with Nick Wright, which I know and love and I listen to all the time, I lost count at 40 and decided to stop counting of the amount of videos that he's talked about Aaron Rodgers. And I guarantee you, 
Pretty much every single one of those videos is going to be talking shit about Aaron Rodgers. So just with Nick Wright and his specific jobs and podcasts, there's over 140 videos talking shit about Aaron Rodgers. Now let's go to the man, the myth, the legend, Colin Cowherd, and see how many videos he's talked about Aaron Rodgers. With Colin Cowherd, it's far more than Nick Wright because he's been doing it for a lot longer. He's been talking shit about Aaron Rodgers for over eight years, and it's been over 100 videos. I stopped counting at 100 if you couldn't tell. That's just on The Herd. But as some of you know, that's not the only podcast Colin has. On The Volume, Colin Coward's other podcast company, I counted over 75 different videos talking about Aaron Rodgers, and once again, I stopped counting. So that means between Nick Wright and Colin Coward, there has been over 315 videos just in the last eight years talked about Aaron Rodgers. And out of those 315 videos, over 200 of them have been in the last three years. Now, I'm not going to do any more digging, but I'm willing to bet that that is the most talked about athlete in both of their podcasts' history. And it's all been in a bad light. Colin Coward and Nick Wright have both been on record to say that they don't think Aaron Rodgers is a top 15 quarterback in the NFL anymore. They don't think that a first ballot Hall of Famer and the greatest thrower of the football of all time is a top 15 quarterback in the NFL anymore. In fact, Nick Wright has been on the record saying that he would take Baker Mayfield over Aaron Rodgers. He would take Baker Mayfield over Aaron Rodgers. It just blows my mind how these people just wake up every day and just can't wait to talk shit about one of the greatest talents we ever, we've ever seen in sports in general, not even in just in the NFL. He's a very unique individual. He's not married. He doesn't have kids. He's so dedicated to the craft of football. He's been one of the greatest throwers we've ever seen, one of the most accurate throwers we've ever seen, the best touchdown and interception ratio in NFL history, one of the best passer ratings in NFL history, one of the most consistent performers we've ever seen, one of the greatest career comebacks of all all time. He fell off a little bit there uh, before 2020 and then was a back-to-back -back MVP, a four-time MVP, a one-time Super Bowl champion, a first bout Hall of Famer, top 10 in yards, top 10 all-time in quarterbacks, and all we get from the media is shit-talking. Why is that? Because Aaron Rodgers is not afraid to speak his views. Aaron Rodgers is not afraid to tell what's on his mind, and these liberal media members just freak out over it and see clicks and views and money. They don't see a human being. And that's what Aaron Rodgers is. And that's what these media members fail to see. All they do is talk shit about him. They think he doesn't care. They think they, he doesn't see. Aaron Rodgers sees all these messages. He sees all of these media members coming after him. And that's what fuels him to keep playing. This is a pretty obvious assessment if you are a... A, 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 you know, a, a regular human being and not some crafted media member that has been just brainwashed by these bosses at Fox and ESPN telling them to say certain things. Whatever pulls the numbers, right? The reality is Dan Rogers is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, and I think he should be talked about in that way. We shouldn't just be talking about the end of his career. A lot of athletes flare out at the end of this uh, end of their career. We, we should be talking about the beauty of Aaron Rodgers' game, the things that he's brought to the sport, how many QBs he's inspired, how many teammates he's helped, how many Hall of Famers he's made alongside of him. Not just talking about how he had bad relations with teammates in the past. So many quarterbacks have had bad relations with uh, with other teammates in the past that they just don't talk about it because their name's not Aaron Rodgers just because he's this good-looking hundred millionaire who talks a little bit doesn't mean we need to all attack him for who he is and what he is and what he stands for at the end of the day this is football this isn't some you know giant Hollywood star who's just out of this world crazy you know Aaron Rodgers is a regular guy just listen to him talk in long form stop listening to the clips you see on social media you'll see that Aaron Rodgers is just a regular guy who has a few conspiracies here and there and has his controversial opinions I'm recording this part while I'm editing the video because I forgot to talk about it but one of Colin Coward's biggest things against Aaron Rodgers is the fact that he's used ayahuasca and went on that darkness retreat he thinks it makes Aaron Rodgers very unrelatable and he thinks that's that's part of the reason why he got into all these conspiracies theories and why his ego is so big. Newsflash Colin, there's a thing called the real world and in the real world people use drugs, people use ayahuasca, people go on darkness retreats, people try to find themselves and not everybody just lives in this fake California world where they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars and they think everything's sunshine and rainbows over there. That's the reality. I didn't think it was that big of a deal because I personally don't care if someone else uses drugs. I really don't. It does not matter. It has no effect on me. But Colin Coward somehow it digs at his at his hundred millionaire skin somehow. 
And to end off this video talking about the media members turning on Aaron Rodgers just because of some certain views and stuff, we're going to talk about some insane stats about Aaron Rodgers. The consistency of Rodgers' numbers across all kinds of splits and situations helps make his case as the most efficient quarterback of all time. Rodgers has a passer rating of over 100 during every month of the season, September to January, during every day of the week, Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, during all four quarter splits of the seasons, weeks 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12, 13 through 16, during every time avail during every time slot available, noon, afternoon, and night, in every type of venue, outdoors, dome, retractable roof during each of the four quarters one through four and in every snap type type and huddle shotgun under center no huddle and huddle his passer rating is over 100 against six of the eight divisions and against 18 different teams now i'm gonna list off some stats from the ages of 30 to 38 for aaron Rodgers, specifically his touchdown to interception ratio when he was 30 and only played nine games he had 17 touchdowns and six interceptions when he was 31 and played all 16 games 38 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. At 32, 31 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. At 33, 40 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. At 34, only played 7 games, 16 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. At 35, 25 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. At 36, 26 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. At 37 years old, mind you, when Matt Ryan fell out of the league, 48 touchdowns, Five interceptions, people. And at 38, 37 touchdowns in four interceptions. But the only thing we can get from the media is how Aaron Rodgers is falling off, how Aaron Rodgers is prickly, how Aaron Rodgers is a conspiracy theorist, and how Aaron Rodgers has views about the vaccine that nobody agrees with in the media. That's all we get from the media. So if you're asking yourself, what was the point of this video? Well, the point of this video was to simply defend a human being who happens to be a great quarterback. You can call it glazing, you can call it whatever you want, but the matter of fact is Aaron Rodgers is a top 10 quarterback of all time. It's not arguable, and he has one of the greatest interception to touchdown ratios of all time. He's a first bout Hall of Famer. He's still great. He's still a top 15 quarterback in the NFL without a question, and he's going to be great with the Jets in 2024. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn up notifications, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.